installing schema markup on your WordPress website. So first off, why would you even want to do it? What is it? Let's talk a little bit about schema. Schema sounds kind of weird, but what it is is essentially a bunch of code that Google and other search engines can read really easily and instantly they know what your site is about. Why is this important? Well, it's simple. Is if you can't create congruency and alignment for the search engines, they really won't understand what your site is about and it'll hurt your rankings. If you're a local business, you're definitely going to want to do this. And I'm going to show you exactly how in this video. My name is Paul Kluke. I own my own digital marketing business. I've been at it since 2012 and I've watched tons of things change in the search engine world. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this today. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if this type of video helps you. So let's jump in. All right, so I'm on my sort of like old dummy site just to show you how this works, right? So we have uh, some pages and whatnot, some simple content. And the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your WordPress and then go to Google. Type in schema generator. And uh, there's a couple of options that you're going to see. I do like the technical SEO. I've used the Hall Analysis one as well. Um, for today, let's just jump into this one and we'll use it. So it'll ask you the first question, which is which schema.org markup would you like to create? And what we're looking for in this particular case, you can create schema for just about anything on a website. But in this case, what we want to do is create schema for a uh, local business. The weird thing is, is you do have to scroll down to find local business. So if you look at this list, you're like, well, there's nothing there. You have to scroll down. Just don't forget that. Once you get there, you're going to see local business type and you can open that and leave it at local business if you'd like. But if you see something more relevant, like it's a dentist's office or uh, dry cleaning, etc. You can certainly select those medical business instead. Uh, I'll take uh, medical. Well, I'll leave it on local, a uh, local uh, business. So you see how that goes. Then for a more specific type, uh, there's no drop down. I think that's only going to be available if you choose something that has sort of like sub categories, like medical business. I believe has yeah, dermatology, emergency, ER type of stuff. You know, but in this particular case, we're going to leave it a local business like I just mentioned, and we're going to name uh, or give the business a name, EMI ORS, O-R-S, like that. Then you'll want to grab an image URL. I find the easiest way to do this is just go to your website and typically go to your logo. In this particular case, there's no logo because it's just a dummy site. But let's say this were the logo. I would right click and I would the, copy the image address. If I go over here and I just paste it in a browser, you'll see it'll open that image. And in this case, I'm just going to put it in here. And of course, it's not the logo, but I hope you understand what I'm doing here. Um, at ID, we can put HTTP EMI-ORS.com and we'll do the same for the URL. I'm not sure if this is going to work exactly, but let's just see. And uh, we're going to create a 999-9999. Price range, here you can put a, um, you're going to put dollar signs. So the range is I think one to, well, I don't know, three or something like that. I usually put two, it's sort of like not the lowest budget, but also not the highest. And then the street address, we're gonna create one, two, three, any street, um, anywhere, and create a zip code. I'm gonna use Orlando zip code since I know Orlando zip code. Country is gonna be United States and um, Let's let's be in Alaska. 
course that's not going to work. The nice thing about this particular schema markup generator is that you can just click on the geo coordinates and it will actually help you find that location. Uh, once you have that, then you can add your opening hours. And in our particular case, we'll say uh, we're open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we open at, you're going to want to use military time here, uh, 0800, and we close at 1700 hours. And, whoops, hit the wrong button. And geo, I mean, uh, social profiles, you can click on the different uh, links here. And what you're going to want to remember is that uh, you're going to need to make sure you add, you actually add the right addresses in here. So you put, uh, you know, facebook.com forward slash my address or, you know, my uh, brand. And the same thing with Twitter, same thing with Instagram, and the same thing LinkedIn your Pinterest and the URL from SoundCloud, you know, followed by, of course, the same thing. You're going to, you're, you know, I should say you're going to want to have the HTTPS. Let's add that throughout. Otherwise you'll get an error. And some of these might be www. I have no idea. Um, what was this Tumblr or something like that? And then uh, here you can put in, you know, your site address, but uh, you can also put a, your Google. A lot of times, what I'll do is I'll I'll generate a maps listing. So I'll go to maps. Google. Com, and then I'll find my business location. Like if I do online marketing gorilla and I click on the little share and then I copy this link I can add that uh, where's it at right here so we're adding that under same as but there is also a f another function called uh, has map I'm not adding that in this particular case, but I just want to mention it because, and you can look up uh, the the script to add for has map. It looks very similar to this, except you could just add the map in that way as well. Uh, but either way, you're going to give Google a lot more reference, a lot more to go on, so to speak, so it knows who you are. The nice thing with this tool is also you can test it in Google. If you go to the structured data testing and it will give you any errors. So you'll see right away whether there's errors. It says zero errors, zero warnings, and that's really it. Now you're all set. All you have to do is uh, go ahead and copy this. This little icon here means to copy. And then you want to go back to your WordPress website. You want to go to plugins and you need to add a plugin called insert headers or footers or and footers insert headers. And let's see what uh, add new. I don't have it on the site uh, headers. Insert headers and footers. You can see a million installs last updated three months ago. You can also use, there's other um, headers and footers this, but I usually don't go with the ones that only have like a thousand in, installs just because I don't know how their header and footer scripts, that's got a hundred thousand, how often they're going to update it as new WordPress variations come out and whatnot. So, all right, we've added uh, that. Let's activate it. And now you're going to find under settings, go to insert headers and footers. You're going to go to scripts and header. You're going to paste that script that we just created and hit save. Now the, to just make sure that the site has it on there, you're going to want to go to the site and right click and go to view page source and then look up, look for the word schema. 
And there it is, all right here. And that was it. Start to finish adding schema to your WordPress website. If you're using a different page builder, you certainly can just add it to wherever the head section is and you'll be done. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if it helped you and I'll see you in the next video.